Hello viewers, welcome to the brand new playlist on the topic of machine learning. We are going to cover various subtopics under the topic of machine learning along with its hands-on implementation in Python. So, trust this playlist and enjoy the learning. Before moving ahead, firstly, the question that comes in our mind is, what is this machine learning? Is it an electronic device that learns on its own? That is, making machine learn to make or take decisions without the role of humans? Is it? But the big question is, how? And moreover, what is the term machine in machine learning? The term machine of machine learning is a resonance for the term algorithm. Yes. It is nothing but humans learning algorithms and applying the same on a given data set. So based on given data set and using the algorithms, we bring a satisfactory solution to a novice problem. Now let's explore the types of machine learning. So machine learning can be broadly classified into three categories. That is supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning. Now let's understand what is this supervised learning. Supervised learning is a type of machine learning in which machines learn from known data sets and then predict the output. So we are dealing with the known data sets and then we predict the output. So it comes under supervised learning. In supervised learning, agent needs to find out the function that matches a given sample set. Moreover, here we know what to achieve, that is the goal state that determines the decision. Example can be predicting a disease based on some symptoms and also predicting the salary of an employee based on his experience etc. And supervised learning can be broadly classified into two categories, that is regression and classification. Don't worry, we are going to have a detailed discussion on the subtopics in the upcoming videos. Now let's move into unsupervised learning. Unsupervised learning is associated with learning without supervision or training. In unsupervised learning, the algorithms are trained with data which is neither labeled or classified. In unsupervised learning, the agent needs to learn from the patterns without corresponding the output values. And the famous example under this is clustering or recommending a list. So unsupervised learning can also be broadly classified into two categories. That is clustering and association. And the last one is reinforcement learning. Reinforcement learning is a type of machine learning technique that enables an agent to learn in an interactive environment by trial and error using feedback from its own actions and experiences. It uses rewards and punishments as signal for positive and negative behavior. The goal here is to find a suitable action model that would maximize the total cumulative reward of the agent. So the overall components of a reinforcement learning are agent, environment and the action in the state. So agent is supposed to be in a particular state and it takes an action AT according to the situation in the environment and based on that action, if it is a good action, means it's a successful action, then it will be rewarded. Else it will be given a penalty so in order so that it can avoid it in future. <clears throat> Let's take an example that we are having an agent in the environment which is walking in a uh, flat floor. Now, if in front there is a box, then the agent should jump. The action which is prescribed is jump. If it is going to jump, then it will be rewarded. And if it ignores jump and just go on sliding and collides with the box, then it will be given a penalty so that it can avoid it in the future. Now, as we have got some idea about machine learning, 
let's see where all can we apply this machine learning the very first is in traffic prediction so we can use machine learning models to predict the traffic of a particular area at a particular time and in medical diagnosis on the basis of symptoms of some disease we can predict whether a patient is suffering from a disease or not and also in a stock marketing trading we can analyze on the basis of various factor the trends in the market and also image recognition so we can also recognize images and predict some useful information moreover the famous example under machine learning is real time example is email spam detection where automatically we can detect a email is a spam or not moreover and also product recommendation based on the past previous purchases of the customer i hope you like this video and hope you have gained something extra than what you were knowing earlier thank you